Hi, so there was a video uh, not so long ago, one of the latest videos about Django. This was a video about field options and I briefly mentioned something about new and blank options and that they are different. But I didn't really explain how they are different and I might have said something that might confuse you. So, um, and this is an important topic because it's not really obvious how they are different and it might be very confusing. And even if you learn about differences, it still might be confusing. So I decided to make a full video about that. So I just created a model called Dean. And here I have uh, two fields. One of them is integer field and one of them is char field, which is ba basically a string. I will start with new option. So new option actually allows us to uh, leave uh, these fields as new or none. And actually um, it will be a little bit different uh, when we work on backend versus when we work on frontend with forms. So I already migrated and here I opened a shell and I imported the DIN model and let me just try to create a new object of the model DIN. So here in our backend when we have new option as true we can actually uh, leave these fields as blank and we don't have any errors here. Then let's save it and also I have created a string method uh, which is actually uh, will be converting our object to string and it will show us basically the integer value and string value of the object uh, when we present it as string. So I have just created a new object and let me try to I think let me try to show you all the objects of the model DIN which is only one now and here as we can see the integer is none and string is none and let me also show you how it looks on the model so let me try to add Dean and well let's let's just try to uh, leave this fields empty no we can't do that because this is how Django works uh, because if you want to be able to leave these fields as blank in the front end form then we have to specify blank true and let me quickly migrate and so now we have null true and blank true and for backend shouldn't really matter let me try it again objects create one save and the objects all yeah it didn't really affect our backend but it uh, will of course affect our front end because now we can actually leave these fields blank and save them and this is basically the reason why you usually see this new and blank 
options are true for the field so uh, because if we have just a new field as true new option as true then in front end we will not be able to you know actually use it and also vice versa because you know what will happen if we only leave blank as true and new will be false by default As you can see, our fields have not new constraints, so new is false by default, and in backend uh, we just can't allow it to happen. And for our front end, let's just delete all this stuff. And here, if you want to add Dean and leave the fields as blank, remember the last time uh, when the blank was false, uh, then we had here a validation error. So now, as blank is actually true, we will not have validation error in the form itself. But again, uh, backend will not work because we have not null constraint.